good afternoon guys uh, welcome to my tutorial and uh, as always um, uh, this time again uh, we are here uh, going to discuss a very uh, fantastic uh, you know uh, it's kind of a, a requirement which I have with me and we want to go ahead and resolve this and uh, this says that you have a combination of text and numbers and you want to extract the numbers only right so I have this uh, a text which is as you can see here ABC 3453 three. so it could be anything a combination of text or a number in any form and uh, we want to extract the number from this um, you know sort of this we want this output to be like this and in case if we change this to some another thing uh, maybe uh, kind of let's say this number then we should get actually 3422 as our output right so what we are trying to do is we are trying to extract the number from an alphanumeric uh, value right so <coughs> this can be done with the VBA this can be done with the arrays uh, I'm going to uh, this video will talk about the arrays which are always you know my uh, one of my favorites subject uh, uh, I guess uh, <laughs> it, it, it is uh, because of the fact that they are very powerful and uh, of course they are a little you know uh, difficult uh, to understand in initial phase but you really really have to be uh, very you know uh, you got to do a lot of hard work actually to understand the arrays provided you should be given a very good uh, guidance so uh, this is something which we are going to create and I must tell you before I start this video this is really really going to be very interesting and this is really I would say that you might have not seen such a long formula in Excel right one of the longest formula we are going to work on that and uh, before I go further let me just tell you that uh, you can watch the rest of the six videos on the arrays uh, by going to my playlist this is my playlist arrays most powerful formula in excel just watch all these six videos and you will definitely understand that you know what i'm exactly i'm saying when i say that arrays are really really very powerful uh, okay so uh, let's uh, start this and uh, I'm going to tell you a couple of things which you need to catch very quickly uh, what exactly we're going to do here is uh, we're going to uh, first of all uh, find the position of these numbers right that where exactly they are and we going we are going to uh, run a loop which says that uh, on every position wherever the number is found it should give us true and uh, for the text it should give us you know false so then what exactly we are going to do is uh, we are going to form this array uh, uh, I'm just going to build this formula and let me show you what exactly this is going to do uh, I'll keep this length this this is the length in case if you're not if you don't know the offset function uh, I do understand you may feel a little you know difficulty but you can still watch this video and you can actually you know uh, get to know this this video will um, let you know that how powerful the offset function is you know how it can be how powerful it can be so as you can see here I have got here five zeros um, uh, six zeros because of the fact that I have six uh, text here the numbers the length of the this a1 cell is six so I'm getting here six and uh, what I want to do is I want to convert this into row number so what will happen is this will give me actually one two three four five six right because uh, for every uh, cell and uh, starting from the L1 and going you know till you know, the six I have all the black cells the blank here that's why it is giving me f uh, six zeros and if I try to find the position of this like this this cell I'll get this one two three four so my idea is actually to build this function so that I can get you know this kind of output one two three four five right let me just remove this so this is the output which we will get and then we'll run the loop in this function by using the mid function and we'll tell that starting position has to be one two three four five six and we'll return one text form every element so once we have all the text extracted like this three four two and two what exactly we are going to do is we are going to apply the maths here and we are going to say that this 3 is to be multiplied with uh, this 2 is going to be multiplied with 1 this is going to be 10 and this is going to be 100 this is going to be 1000 right according to their uh, position and then we are going to multiply this 3 into 1000 and similarly rest of the elements we are going to multiply and then at the end of the day we are going to sum them up and eventually you will end up getting this number so this is a kind of a mathematic uh, thing which we are going to apply here which we all you know learned in our when we were actually in second or third standards so this is going to be a <laughs> good revision for your 
childhood classes and in case if you forget then i'm sure um, when when you're watching this uh, you are able to now recall that how exactly what is exactly is going to be the trick you know behind this um, formula all right so two things important one is this one that i'm going to create this kind of a array and the second thing is which you need to understand that what i have used uh, here as an offset function right so uh, you need to remember this function uh, which i used with the row and the offset this one i really can't go ahead and you know explain this because uh, this is again again a, a different chapter and it will take another you know good amount of time 30 minutes of time you know to explain you this so uh, maybe i will um, go ahead and watch another upload another video on this and you can watch that but for now what we are going to do is we are going to use this function so you just remember that this function is giving you actually this kind of a result right so in arrays we work on the f9 if you uh, go ahead and watch my other videos on the playlist you will come to know that that what exactly i'm talking about right so uh we have created this array and uh, in order to see the output we can press the f9 and then after equals to just escape once you have uh, once you see that you know all the outputs are great so still i would like to go ahead and i would like to tell you what exactly the offset is doing maybe i'll i'll be very short on that now this is a reference this means that from where to start so i'm saying that the start from this cell and the row and the column keep it blank so in other words you you are saying that keep it zero so what does that mean is this row and the column start with the zero so it will remain here the starting position that is called the zero and the you know zero is the row and zero is the column so these row and column start with the actually uh, uh, zero element so if it has uh, if i if i write here four then it means that it is going to be uh, you know five rows down zero one two three four and five you know whatever the value uh, will uh, excel will find here it will you know give you th give you that value back so i'm writing it zero because i want that it should start from the very first cell and then again the column on the very same column and then the height is number of rows how many number of rows you want to add so i want to add the number of rows according to the length of this cell so that's why i've used this function right so for those who do not know what this function will do length of a1 it will return the number of characters in a cell uh, which are six characters so to say that this parameter will six will go into this height and it will form the six cells and uh, i don't need the width because i don't want to create a column with two column or three columns this array so it will remain as one so the moment i press control shift enter and i press f9 i'll see that you know i have got these numbers one two three four five and all zero right so i don't need these numbers so i'll just quickly remove them and uh, so you'll get all the numbers zero 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 so the idea is to find the row number for each of these elements present in the my table which are the zero 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 right and now if i press f9 i'll get their row numbers so basically one two three four five six we are getting this and in case if i change this to let's say this then you see here that i'm going to now show you this f9 you'll get here one two three because of the fact that the length is now three so the height the number of the rows included in the offset is going to be three only so i'll get zero 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 and then the row function will return me the row number of each zero which is one two three right so this is the idea that's that's what we are actually going to do so let's uh, uh let's keep it 44a only so now the very first thing which we are going to do here is in this function is uh we are going to split these cells 444a and so on right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the mid function and i select this text and i'll say that the start number has to be what so for me now the start number has to be this function which i have just explained you let's keep this here and the length and the one and now the next parameter for my uh, this uh, the mid function uh, let 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 us just close this first now no number of characters how many characters you want i want just one character so what exactly is happening just like in vba we use the looping system what will happen is uh, mid will uh, start you know will give this start number initially it will give the one and then second and then third and then yes no, so one two three only because i have only the three text here so th this is what i have shown you one two three four five six because i had the six characters initially so now this time this array is one two three so this loop will run three times and eventually when i press enter and if i go here and i press f9 you'll see that i have now segregated these numbers 44a right so in order to get these numbers um, 
in a, a if i show you again that you have these numbers in quotes so it is actually you know um, it, it has changed uh, the property of this number as a text so in order to get back this i can use the value function or maybe i can use double hyphen now press control shift enter so double hyphen for those who do not know it can convert your uh, numbers which are stored as text into number back into numbers so now you press f9 now you see that there are no quotes uh, you know between these numbers so why this value is coming because a is alphabet and you really can't apply this function on uh, the text entry right so you can even use the value function the value uh, you can use this function as well this function does what converts a text string that represents a number into a number right so you can use whatever the function you want i'm comfortable with this so i'll just go with this now over here uh, let me just change this to 1 2 3 because this is what we are getting here as uh, i was telling you here in this f9 this is the array uh, this is the array which we have so let's just delete this so this is what is happening you know if you have worked on the emit function what we are telling is we are saying that go in the this text and the start number has to be this 1 2 3 so i have put put in uh, this formula row offset you know uh, in this start number parameter and the number of characters how many characters you want i just want the one so what it is doing is it is starting from the one and returning one and then it is starting from second and then it returning one and then again starting from three and returning one so this is how i have been able to actually segregate these numbers one by one now what exactly now you want to do here now that's the question so now what i'll say is um i'll say that uh, wherever i have the number so is number i'll use the function in this entire format and say control shift enter so i'll get true true false because four four you know they are the numbers and the rest of the number rest uh, rest where i'm getting the false it is actually a text entry now guys what uh, we want to do is we want to find the position right so for four these double four i have the position one and two so what how i can get that i'll multiply this this entire array with now remember uh, let me just copy this and let me just say control v and let me just f9 it and remove this so so that you know you can understand what i'm saying so this is my first array now i need to multiply this array with the another array which is going to be this array which i have created here right so what will happen is when i'm going to multiply this array with these numbers the first element of the first array will multiply with the first element of the second array and the second element of the first array will be multiplied with the second element of the second array and so on so wherever i see the true true will be multiplied with that corresponding element and it will uh, give me back that value so ideally what i'm saying is that this true is going to be multiplied with one and in the second array true will be multiplied with the two and <coughs> in the next the false is going to be multiplied by three and in excel if you multiply true by true it always gives you one now please <coughs> keep in mind that this is not a text right so this is not something that you are multiplying the two text in excel the true is stored as one <coughs> right so if i change this to false it will give me the zero because false is stored as zero and true is one so one will be multiplied by one and it will give me the one back so this is what we are actually going to do here so this ultimately i'll get this kind of an array <coughs> right so let's form this let me quickly multiply this with the another array which i have shown you i have created you and uh, so i'll select this zero zero and then the length which will give me one two three and i'll multiply it by this right and let's now do the f2 f9 sorry i beg your pardon so i get the one two zero which i have just you know telling you now now you got this array or one two zero let me just bold this now you got and let's just remove this because we don't require this that that was just for your understanding now what you want to do is you actually got the position of one and two so before we further go what exactly we are going to do is we know that the very first four the four which is there it is actually going to be uh, multiplied by what it is it should be multiplied with this 10 right because you have just two numbers here and this four is going to be multiplied by one 
right if i have if i would have one more four here then it should have been multiplied by like this so that we can multiply them and then we can sum them up so in order to ensure that uh, this series uh, you know this this should work in a proper way what we exactly going to do is we are going to change this we are going to reverse the order and the reason is because uh, i'm going to do this kind of a stuff i'll just show you look at this 10 raised to power will do this let's say this is 0 0 and this is my length this is my length and the one now you know that that i will end up getting this number 1 2 3 so what exactly i want to do is i want to subtract minus 1 from each element and i'll sh i'll just tell you show you that what changes it is going to bring so it it will be now instead of 1 2 3 it is going to be 0 1 2 now this 0 1 2 i'll actually multiply this with the 10 raised to power right so 10 raised to power means you know that if i say that 10 raised to power uh, 1 this will give me 10 and if i say 10 raised to power 2 and let me just bring the equals to it will give me 100 and if i change this to 5 it will give me 5 zeros so this is what exactly i'm going to do here now i'm going to multiply this 10 raised to power with this entire array so now if i press f9 i'll get here 9 9 double 9 okay that's wrong that this is not something which i was looking for uh, so maybe I'll put it in the bracket I think that's the mistake because we have a minus here and now if I press F9 you see here that I got the 1 10 and 100 so the very first 10 is going to be multiplied with the 0 which I have created here in this if you forget let me just show you again just copy this and paste it here and this value F9 and I'm going to remove this sorry right so ideally what we are doing is we are telling that you know it should be multiplied with the 10 raised to power like this so 10 will be first 10 will be multiplied with the 0 so you'll get 1 and then 10 raised to power 1 will give you what 10 and then 10, 10 raised to power 2 will give you 100 right so this is what you are getting here once you have these values you will simply go ahead and multiply these uh, you know these values with with the values which we have actually uh, going to extract here right so this array is now 1 to 0 and I before I start using the function called mid and I say that get me these values one by one I'll actually change its order right why I'm going to change its order uh, I'll just show you I'll tell you but first of all let us build this formula called the large and in this large function this is my entire table and in this my entire table what I want is I want the three largest number the first has to be one and then two and three so the same thing which we have created so many times here one two three the array I'm going to create it here control shift enter uh, we have some problem here so yeah that's the problem we don't need this all right so we got it now see if i press f9 i'll get this this 1 to 0 is now reversed to 2 1 0 because the largest number comes here first and then 1 and 0 for those who do not know the large function this is how it works if i need to find the second largest number in this table the array i say second largest number so i'll get 5 if i want to find the third largest number I'll get here 3 and I'll get the 4 right so what I'm doing here is I'm saying that in this table whatever the value is now this table has 1 comma 2 comma 0 I'm saying that first you need to find the first largest and the second largest and the third largest right because this array this row offset function this function as I said this will return me this 1 2 3 right so in arrays you have this um, ability you know to actually work on multiple cells 
uh, in just one cell you know you can get you can use n number of cell values in just one cell so it is running a loop it is working three times first it is finding me the first largest number then second and the third and that's why I'm getting this 210 now when I get this 210 now what exactly I want to do is I want to again use the mid function and I want to extract their values so now I'll say that go to this text and then the start number is going to be remember 210 so it will start from the you know uh, 2 and then it will start from the 1 and then final and, and in last it is going to start from the 0 which does not make any sense right so and how many characters do I want I want these number of characters as 1 so every time it starts the loop it should give me actually 1 now press F9 you'll see here that now I'm able to remove all the alphabets from here now I've got the 4 4 and the value so in order to change this again I'll you know keep this double hyphen so that it should be converted back to the number and uh, again I'm going to show this that now we have we don't have the coach here within the coach so if now we'll remove this value as a 0 by using if error so we'll say that if error and uh, if the error is there just give me the 0 look at the formula guys it's such a huge formula right I know it might be scaring you in case if you're watching this for the first time but that's fine you know you watch it again you keep on watching it and you'll understand it and for the uh, as I said that for other exercises go to the uh, you know Aris playlist and watch all those videos and I'm sure you will definitely start loving the Aris because they can do so many things now this is the formula the big formula right we have used large we have used mid we have used if error we have used double hyphen large is number uh, length formula formula offset formula and the row formula I mean I think we have used like five six formulas in one formula so just imagine you know how powerful can your arrays be so control shift enter and uh, now I'll say that F9 now you see here I've got the zero here now what do you now need to do you got the numbers in a very proper order and here you have a uh, this another array which is this 1 10 and 100 right so just copy this this array is going to be multiplied by uh, multiplied with this array okay before that I'll just actually copy this so that it is going to give you help let me just copy this and let me just paste it here and let let us extract the value f9 and then remove the equals to so this is the first array and let's just remove this we don't need now this and let's just copy this and let's just paste it here and let's get the values f9 and let me remove this now what will happen this 4 will be multiplied with 4 what will happen you'll get 4 the second element of the first array is what 4 and the second element of the second array is what 10 4 multiplied by 10 will give you what 40 and then 0 multi uh, multiplied with the 100 will give, you, will give you 0 so you'll get this 4 and 40 and then you'll sum them up 4 plus 40 will give you what 44 and that's what we have got here right so and and please this is not just for this example I'll show you I will change this example and you will actually get the values because you know what we have done is we have built the logic we have said that you know this 10 has to be multiplied uh, all uh, you know till the time that we have got these functions uh, we have got this this function length returning the value so if I will have here six characters this will be one two three four five six and then we are subtracting minus one from it so that when this 10 raised to power 1 you know it instead of raised to power 1 it should give me 10 raised to power 0 because 10 raised to power 0 will give me what so this is a actually deliberate move to ensure that I should get the correct formula this will give me this one and why I'm saying this one because you know when you start your maths it says the, that the, the very first thing is ones tens and then you know hundred and then thousand and so on you know so the very first the last number which would be on this uh, cell is which is here 4 this 4 let me change this to in fact 6 right so this is going to be the 6 so 6 is going to be multiplied by only just 1 
so that we can get the 6 here whereas 4 will be multiplied by 10 because you now if you start from here this is once this is tens right and so on so I'm g I'll get here 40 so that's why it was a deliberate move to ensure that 10 raised to power 0 should be there and that's that's what we did right so I'm going to press F9 now you can see here I have got the four, 6 and 4 so this will be multiplied by this array which I have created 10 raised to power offset and so let us just multiply this and see what is exactly going to happen here so control shift enter and as expected we got here 6 and 40 <coughs> I beg your pardon now just sum them up so whatever the table I have it is going to sum up all the values for me and you got your answer right so I feel so proud actually looking at this formula right initially I do understand it looks scary but yes with the regular practice and on knowing that you know that the iris can do so many things for you why don't you go ahead and you know learn it because it can make you a complete person when it comes to Excel so I think uh, if you know if you say that you know the advanced Excel I would expect you to do these kind of a uh, you know things only then I would say that yes you are an expert actually in Excel and this is what actually I you know teach in my training programs as well right so now let us try to change this number Let, let's just do this wow amazing right <laughs> it is actually surprising okay you can further change this to this wow this is great this is awesome right so you can you can write whatever you want it will extract the number for you the you can write the number first and then you can write the text and then you can write the number then you can write another text and you can write the number and then you can write another text and then you can write further more numbers and this is what you are going to get right so this is how this entire formula can do wonders and it can extract the values from you right so I hope you like this video and uh, just uh, watch out my all the 99 videos so far including this and I'm sure this is going to be a great learning for you because so whatever the videos I have uploaded so far they are all great because of the fact that I you know receive a uh, great questions from you guys and simply go ahead and upload the videos right so I'm sure that watching every video will actually be worth for you and it can enhance your further career this is my email ID let me know in case if you are looking for some training and that's my uh, number you can call me on this number my training program comes with the 100% money back guarantee and uh, you, you can take the online training uh, and uh, this is it I, I guess that's it and uh, do subscribe to my channel guys um, thank you so much for your support day by day lot of subscribers people are getting added and I feel that you know the channel is really actually being liked by you guys and so that's why I think uh, you know I'm getting a lot of emails and subscriptions so thank you so much for your support and I'll come up with some another video maybe next week until then you watch all the videos and practice thank you so much have a wonderful day god bless you all bye bye